At five, we told you how current and newly elected Youngstown City Council members are concerned about the number of recent murders. And within the past half hour, they started talking about potential plans to help curve the violence. 27 First News anchor Stan Boney is live with that story. Stan? About 20 minutes ago, here outside of Youngstown City Hall in downtown Youngstown, seven members of Youngstown City Council, some of them the current members, some of them members to be, gathered to talk about the recent rash of violence in the city of Youngstown. Between November 6th and December 3rd, there were five murders in the city, and these members of Youngstown City Council gathered, uh, urging the community to please stop the violence. Now, the woman who organized this event this evening was Annie Gillum. She's the first ward councilwoman in the city. One of the things you suggested was increasing the funding to serve the community initiative to reduce violence. Why would you like to see that done? Uh, because the uh, serve staff is only one person and made up of volunteers mostly in wraparound services. I really do believe that Guy Bernie needs a staff. Uh, so they can get out in, 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 in the community um, at all times. Never any slack. They're always in the, in the community. And you're really high on the SERVE program. You really oh. think it's a good program, oh, don't you? Absolutely. You know, uh, years ago, uh, it was supposed to be started under Jay Williams. And, uh, and I think that if it had been started, uh, then we wouldn't, we wouldn't have had a decrease in the crime years ago. Uh, but we didn't start it until about uh, two and a half years ago, and we have seen results. Uh, and I think we, we really do need to push it uh, more, and people need to find out about it. I, there's a lot of people that don't know about this program. Do you think the administration will go along with funding it? Well, we shall see. Uh, we're going to have new council people, and uh, they'll have to fight for it. But uh, as you, you said, just our, our funding, the state and federal government can help us with this. Uh, I think it's better to put money into this kind of program and, and instead of putting it into the prison system. Annie Gillen, thanks very much, and thanks for letting the community know that, that you're interested in all this. Thanks all very right. much. All right, we are, again, the, the, one of the big things that came out of it was the funding of the CERB, but all the council people got together and, and urged the city to kind of calm down a little bit and let everybody know that they're, they're hanging in there with them and trying to reduce the recent violence that has happened throughout Youngstown. Live in downtown Youngstown, I'm Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News at 6.